and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. So for today's video, I thought I would go ahead and do a bit of a haul. I love filming hauls, I love watching them, and I also needed to buy a few of my skincare products because I'm running low or ran out of some, and some more new products that I would like to try. So since it did end up being a few items, I thought I would just go ahead and film a haul so you guys could see what I bought and if you're interested in any of the products. So I will start off by saying they are all cruelty free, some are vegan as well. I don't buy anything that isn't cruelty free, so it's something I always check on. So I ended up making two orders, so I've got two boxes of the same size, but they have a few different items in them. One has a bit more than the other. One of the items I got is a face sunblock, and I used to use a moisturizer, or well a day moisturizer, that had SPF, but I stopped using that brand. And I moved on to trying one by Pixie, which is their blue one, the Clarify. But that one doesn't have SPF. And also the new moisturizer I ordered does not have SPF. So I thought I would go ahead and get one that I could go ahead and apply additionally. And I kind of like the idea of doing it better this way so that I could reapply as needed without using too much of my moisturizer. So the one I got is the Blockstar Invisible Daily Sunscreen and it's SPF 30 and it's 100% mineral broad spectrum. And the reviews online for it were pretty good so I'm excited to see how it works out. And it's also, well, it's still only winter but we're getting that much closer to summer and sunnier days. Even spring could have pretty warm sunny days so it came at the perfect time. So the size I got is the little travel size one. I wanted to test it out first and see how it works and if I liked it. But it does come in a bigger size if you were interested in getting a bigger one. I just went for the small one and I also don't think I will be going through it too fast either. And this product is clean. It doesn't test on animals. It's planet friendly and vegan. And it also says that there's no chemical sunscreens, no irritation, no clogged pores, no white cast, no chalkiness, no greasy sheen. It's supposed to be silky 100% sheer mineral sunscreen blends in effortlessly for superior daily mineral protection and an invisible finish. My skin is quite sensitive, so that's another thing I check when buying my skincare products. I always try to make sure they're as natural as possible or just skin sensitive friendly. And I have tried their Rose Court Toner, I believe it's called. And that one is for sensitive skin and it's just a mist. And I really like that one, I just didn't end up buying it again. I thought I would try a few others. It was quite refreshing, but I don't know that it necessarily did so much for my skin. But thankfully it didn't cause any irritation. And this is the actual size of the product. It's pretty small, but I'm pretty sure you could get quite a bit out of there. So the next product is by Pacifica, and it is their Dreamy Youth Day and Night Face Cream. And it is for all skin types, and this one as well said that it was safe for sensitive skins. So I went ahead and got it. And this one I'm planning to use as my nighttime moisturizer. I use different moisturizers for the morning and night. So I know that this one could be used as both, but I'm going to be using it just as my nighttime one. And this one also had really good reviews. So I'm excited to see how it works and if I like it or not. And I believe it is their number one selling moisturizer or something like that. It's 100% vegan, 100% cruelty free, and it says 100% better packaging. It's fully recyclable. And it says it's extraordinary benefits for glowing radiant skin. Pacifica Floracil, I believe it's pronounced. Complex contains ingredients shown to help minimize the appearance of fine lines, deeply moisturize, promote a lifting effect, and improve radiance. And this is what the packaging looks like. And this is what the actual bottle looks like. It's quite thin but tall. But it does hold 50 ml which is the average size of a moisturizer. And it wasn't expensive either. I would have to double check on the price. But I will leave links below as well to all the products I purchased. But if I remember correctly, I believe it was about 14 bucks, And I got that from Target. All the items I bought I got from... 
Target.com. And like I said, I will leave links below. And a quick disclaimer, I purchased all of these with my own money. And I am not being paid to say anything. This is not an ad. All opinions are my own. So the night cream I had been using before this one was the Vegan Collagen Night Recovery moisturizer or something like that it's by pacifica as well it's a little pink glass bottle and i like that one it was pretty creamy but i just wanted to give something else a chance and try it out see if i liked it more and the nighttime moisturizer i was using before that one was the one by number seven it was the early defense night cream i believe and that one i wasn't a huge fan of i mean it seemed to do a good job i mean i feel like it's a little early on to say if it's helping me not age <laughs> or well not not age but help my skin stay nicer and more youthful i know they recommend starting about 25 to start using anti-aging products but i have been using them and making sure to take care of my skin so i have been using anti-aging products since i think i was about 19 years old so I did start pretty early, but I do have pretty good genes. Both my parents look really young for their age, and my sisters do too, and most people don't guess I'm my age. They always think I'm a lot younger as well, so I just really want to take care of my skin, and especially because I got lucky enough to have naturally youthful skin. But back to that whole number seven moisturizer. Their day version of it was fine. But the night one I didn't like so much, I found it very watery, so I found myself using a lot of it in order to get coverage because it would just go right into your skin and yeah, it just felt very watery. So I was a bit iffy if that was actually doing any good for my skin. So the next product I got is by Soap and Glory and it is the Peaches and Clean Deep Cleansing Milk. For clear, healthy, and radiant looking skin with peach extract and jojoba seed oil for all skin types, hydrate. And it's vegan and cruelty free and it's dermatology tested as well and this was another one that was safe for sensitive skin and my daily face cleanser that i use is by burt's bees and it's their one for sensitive skin i've been using that one for a while because i had a pretty bad reaction to another company they had a facial cleanser as well that was for sensitive skin but for some reason i just got a really bad allergic reaction to it so I've just kind of stuck to that one since it's worked for me and it does the job. I don't normally wear any makeup so I don't need anything too deep cleansing or anything. So that one's a good just basic one. But I bought this one for the days that I do wear makeup so that I could go ahead and make sure to remove it all. And deeply cleanse all the makeup out of my pores. So that's just what I got this one for. It's just for basically a makeup removing cleanser. I did used to use micellar oil. But I wasn't a huge fan of it and I found that, especially for my eyes, my eyes, well the skin around my eyes is very sensitive and I don't often wear eye makeup because of that reason. It tends to irritate my skin a bit. So when I do remove it, I found that when I would use my cellar water, even if I used a decent amount in order to really clean it, it would irritate my eyes quite a bit. So I wanted something more like this, of a cleanser that was, yeah, basically like a milk cleanser, or even like a butter cleanser, but I ended up going for this one. And just to really help wash it away and a lot gentler. And this one as well wasn't very expensive. I believe it was eight or $10, something like that. So it was also pretty cheap, especially for the size. It's it's a pretty good size. And on the bottle it says, A face-saving cleansing milk that gently yet super effectively melts away makeup and impurities and re-energizes for a clarified and brighter complexion. Purify your face and neck with a couple of pumps every evening. Rinse well, then massage on your moisturizer. I'm gonna cheat with this one. Smell it because I'm really excited to smell how peachy it is if it smells like peach, which I'm guessing it will. No. Oh, no, yeah, I get the peach now. It's quite like a floral peach smell, though. It smells nice, but not as 
peachy as I thought it would. And it does seem to be a bit of a like pretty thick consistency, which is what I wanted. So the next item I got is by Bliss as well, and it's the Disappearing Act Toner. And yeah, I'm excited to try this one out because like I said, I did try their rose one and I liked it. But I'm not sure that the spray actually would get it on enough or effectively enough. And after that one, I tried their Clarity one. I believe it's like Clarity Complex 6 or something like that. And that one was more of a gel, so that was cool. It was easier to apply. The only thing was, I didn't feel like it really did much for my skin. It was supposed to help really clean out your pores. I don't have terrible skin. I feel like it's just recently... I guess with the whole mask wearing and all, has gotten pretty bad around these sections. I get a lot of like little bumps and on like my cheeks. But I do get a lot of blackheads on my nose and my like lower chin area. So I bought that one hoping it would really help with that and it didn't seem to make a difference at all. I didn't feel like it did anything for my skin. So I wanted to go ahead and try a new one. And this one was also good for sensitive skin. So I decided to try it and it is alcohol free and fragrance free. And it's got, I don't know how to pronounce it so I'm gonna try. Niacinamide PC and Pore Vanish Micro Purifying Toner. And it's supposed to help with your, to shrink your pores and clean them out as well. And this one as well is clean. No animal testing, planet friendly, and vegan. And it says, toner, see no pores. The micro purifying toner decongestes all 20,000 facial pores to remove excess oil, dirt, and dead skin cells and delivers a visibly poreless complexion in seconds. Powered by Bliss Pore Vanish Complex, the balancing formula tightens to further shrink the look of pores. While niacinamide PC helps strengthen skin barrier for a smoother texture, day after day. And that is another thing why I wanted to try this one. I was looking for something pore minimizing because I don't have big pores all over my face. It's mainly in my cheeks and my nose area, which makes sense why I tend to struggle with that area. I don't feel like I necessarily have big pores all over my face, but I do have it in sections. And yeah, I just really want something to help shrink them down so my skin could look smoother and stay clean. So I'm very excited to try that one out. And it's a pretty big bottle as well, and once again, I don't think it was very expensive. I want to say it was about $8, but I can't say for sure because I purchased all this, I think the end of December or first week of January, something like that. I don't remember, so it's it has been a while. In the next box, the other purchase I made was for my daytime moisturizer, and I decided to give this one a try. It's by Pacifica as well, and it is called the Vegan Ceramide. And it is a barrier cream, concentrated ceramides, lipids, and salendula. Fragrance free, dermatologist tested, sensitive skin types. And yeah, I got that one because, once again, it's for sensitive skin. And I also like the idea of the... Because I know CeraVe is supposed to be really good for your skin and it gets recommended a lot by doctors. So the fact that this has ceramides too, I thought I'd give it a try. And... And it is vegan, cruelty free, and planet friendly as well. And yeah, I'm gonna be using this one as my daytime cream. And then, then I will just go ahead and put the sunblock on on top as needed. And it just looks like a really nice consistency, like it's really gonna moisturize my skin and nourish it. So on the box it says, barrier support for sensitive and dry skin, fragrance free, allergy tested, dermatologist tested, safe for sensitive skin. What makes our ceramide special? Our blend is a skin identical lipid concentrate using plant based fermented ingredients that helps restore the protective barrier function of the skin. Melt into Skin Formula combines our ceramides with amino acid complex, niacinamide, and salendula for smooth, calm skin. And this one could also be used at bedtime. It says apply morning or before bedtime. Oh, and it's a pretty little box on the inside. Mm -hmm. 
And it does come in a glass container, so once again, it's 100% recyclable. And it feels too small, but once again, it's the classic 50 ml. And on the box, on the little closey flap, it says, you are so pretty in gold, <laughs> which is really nice. And this is another product. Well, I'm excited to try all of them out. But this one especially because, like I said, it just seems like a really good product and, yeah, like, it's just very moisturizing and nourishing for the skin. So I'm very excited to give this one a go. I'm almost done with my Pixie moisturizer and then I can go ahead and move on to that one. I will say a quick little review on the Pixie moisturizer. Like I said, it's a blue one. I think it's their Clarify one. And that one's supposed to help keep your skin from getting an oily so it doesn't have much of a cream consistency it's sorry if you could hear like snoring or heavy breathing it's just jasper and daisy are on the bed next to me and they're taking their afternoon nap and jazzy's really deep into sleep so he's kind of starting to snore but anyway back to the moisturizer it is supposed to be oil free so it's i believe oil free or something like that so it's not very creamy it's also another one that's a bit more like watery almost not really like an ointment either but it's just kind of like a watered down cream essentially and i don't feel like it's really done much for me either my skin i feel like it's still the same maybe slightly improved but as i'm currently not working i'm not really wearing face masks all that much as i was before i with my eight hour shifts and stuff so I think that's just the main reason my skin has improved because I was using it for several months already I think I started using it and it's lasted me a long time <laughs> but yeah I started using it in July and I'm almost finishing it up now but yeah I haven't really noticed much of an improvement it's also supposed to help clean out your pores and keep your skin nice and clean and shine free and I will say that yeah it does make my skin look quite matte but it also leaves it feeling sticky which I really did not like at all ever since the first time I used it it's not like sticky sticky but it's just sticky to the touch and I've tried it with two different toners and it just it's still like that. I don't know what causes it. And I had my sister try it out once too. To see if like maybe with her toner. Because she uses a different toner. I don't quite remember which one. And she said like once it dried it was fine. But when she first put it on her skin did still feel a little sticky. But I have even tried it with one of the Pixie toners. And it still feels that way. So I really did not like that. It's weird to explain. But yeah it's just when you touch it your skin kind of sticks to it. But it doesn't stay feeling sticky, if that makes any sense. And I, I'm using the, I've got like a little like travel size toner of Pixie and it is their exfoliating one. I don't remember if it's just called that or it's got a different name, but it's like a orangey color. And I'm glad it's a little bottle. <laughs> I also haven't really noticed much improvement with that one. I will say though. I wouldn't recommend it for sensitive skin because there are days where I guess I've had a little more sun exposure or if I've done an exfoliation or my derma planning the night before or something like that. And it does quite sting. It is, I guess, more of an aggressive toner. And there's also the fact that I didn't know at the time when I got it, but when I was looking for new moisturizers, I found out that the glycolic acid, which it has, can help fade freckles or cause, I guess I should say in my case, cause freckles to fade, which I was not happy about at all because I love my freckles and I want to keep them and I want them to stay as vibrant and dark as they are. I don't want to fade them or get rid of them, anything like that. So I'm definitely glad it's a little bottle and I'm almost done with it because yeah I don't want it getting rid of my freckles and that's another thing too um why I ended up going for those two moisturizers because when I was doing some research about moisturizers 
I found out that hydraulic acid as well as, um, oh, the name left me right now. Um, retinol, there we go. Retinol and hydraulic acid as well as the glycolic acid and a few other acids cause freckles to fade. So, like I said, I definitely don't want to get rid of my freckles and I don't want to be using anything that would cause any harm to them. So... It's a bit harder to find anti-aging products in that regard because a lot of them have one or the other. I was glad that the Streamy Youth one by Pacifica didn't have any of that stuff. It's more, a little more natural based, I guess. I mean, I'm glad I learned that pretty early on because that way I could avoid those products and any items that may have those ingredients so that I could go ahead and take care of my freckles. So the final item is this little guy by Burt's Bees and it is their Firming Eye Cream Renewal with Natural Retinol Alternative. It reduces the look of lines and wrinkles, dark circles, and under eye puffiness. I have always kind of had dark circles, under eye bags type thing. They're not too puffy nor too dark, but they are definitely got like a purpley tint to them and when I was 15 I found out that I had broken my nose once upon a time and I didn't know so I think that's what causes it but I really want to find a good product to help me out with them and just help even the skin tone even if it doesn't. I don't have puffy eye bags I wouldn't say I feel like they're more sunken in than anything and it's got kind of a purpley undertone to them. So I did buy one a couple months ago. Well, a lot of months ago. <laughs> Back in July as well. I bought one by Derma E. And I don't remember what it's called. I have tried other products like the exfoliating scrub that I got in the Marcia soap box. It's by Derma E and so I like their products so I decided to get that one from them because I had really liked their products and it's safe for sensitive skin but I didn't like that it was tinted it didn't say it at all on the box but I guess because it's got like turmeric in it and stuff it is a bit tinted so I didn't like that about it because I just want something more natural not something that's just kind of going to cover it up at the moment and also you kind of got to dab it in place and it still doesn't blend that nicely but if you just like smooth it out with your finger it just kind of starts coming off instead and getting kind of pasty and it's just not a good look <laughs> so I wanted to get something else to use because I just really haven't used it I rarely use that one because of the fact that it ended up being tinted and not very good at blending and this one by Birch Beach had really good reviews and it wasn't all that expensive especially compared to other eye creams it was definitely in the lower middle range and yeah I just wanted to give something else to go something more cream like I don't want to throw that Derma E one away it wasn't it wasn't expensive either but I would say it was somewhere around the middle range so I don't want to throw it away so I'm just going to keep it kind of as a primer as I currently don't have an eye primer so I thought I could just use that and because on my eyelids it smooths out nicely it's just kind of underneath where it, it's not that great so for this one it is 99% natural origin with nutrient rich botanicals it's ingredients from nature, responsible sourcing, no animal testing, and recyclable carton. Formulated without parabens, botolates, petroleum, or SLS. And it is clinically shown to reduce the appearance of lines, wrinkles, under eye circles, and crow's feet. Infused with bactula, bactoya. I don't know how to pronounce this. I'm really sorry. Bact a natural and gentle alternative to retinol and vitamin E for smoother, firmer skin. Our moisturizing eye cream uses some of nature's most powerful ingredients to firm and hydrate the delicate under eye area, leaving you with smoother, brighter, and healthier looking under eye skin. And like I said, 
it's got no retinol, so I was really happy about that because that was another one. A lot of them had retinol or hydraulic acid. And it is dermatologist tested and ophthalmologist tested. And it says, used in the morning and evening, place small dots around the eyes and gently smooth into your skin. And on Target's website, and also on Ulta, this one did have really good reviews and ratings, especially compared to other that were more expensive brands. I was quite surprised, so I'm really excited to give this a go and see how it works out for me. And it is this little small bottle. And it's actually not that small considering the price. Like I said, I can't remember the prices exactly anymore. But I remember it being one of the cheaper ones on both Ulta and Target's website. For the size, it's not bad because most eye creams are this like little tube or like a rolly guy that's really small. And I'm pretty sure this contains more than those do. And this is another one I'm really excited to start trying and hopefully it can help me with my eye bags. That is all the items in this haul. I'm excited to give all of these a go and see how they work. I will try to give an update at some point. I don't know if I'll do a little video update or maybe just in the comment section of this video give an update on how I'm liking the products. And yeah, I'm just really excited to try them out. And I am really happy that they're all cruelty free and a lot of them are vegan as well and clean. It's such an important thing, especially nowadays. And like I said, I never buy anything that isn't cruelty free. I only stick to brands that I know are or I'll quickly Google them. And it's always a great bonus when they're vegan and clean as well, even if it's just one or the other. If you have any questions on any of the products, feel free to ask in the comments below and I will do my best to answer it as best as I can and as soon as I can. And I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet and make sure to hit the notification bell as well so that you could be notified when I upload a new video. I am trying to do them once a month. I kind of got pushed back with this one but hopefully I will be able to keep on schedule. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.